and I mean all pants. Jeans, shorts, PJs, leggings, jeggings, capris, churidars, you name it, this method truly works. Hello everyone, this is Rabia Ahmed and welcome to my channel which is all about lifestyle organizing and parenting. Firstly, thank you so much for all the love that you've shown me for my first video. If you haven't subscribed as yet, well then do so. And don't forget to click that bell icon so that you're notified each time I upload a video. A huge shout out to Maustrosity today because this video was made specially for her. She said that I should show you how to fold pants, scarves and etc etc. Well in today's video we're just going to focus on how to perfectly fold pants and shorts. But before we begin let me just put it out there. You cannot fold formal pants. Rather, I will not recommend that you fold formal pants. You just have to hang them up. As simple as that. Isi wajah se aapke paas hanging space mojood hai aapke wardrobe mein. Just hang your formal pants up. You don't want to fold them. You don't want to get creases. And when it comes to hanging the pants up, I have a space saving tip. But for that, you need to watch the entire video because I'm going to be giving you that space saving tip right at the end. Now, take the formal pants out of the equation. This folding method technique, which is a KonMari technique, it works for all pants. And I mean all pants. Jeans, shorts, PJs, leggings, jeggings, capris, churidars, you name it, this method truly works. And if you file your clothes after you fold them, so nipe sohala. It is the best method that you can definitely use to organize all your pants. I'm not going to be getting into the pros and the cons of using the KonMari method that I've discussed in quite detail in my first video. If you haven't seen the video and you want to know why we should use the folding method and filing method for clothes, please go and click the link. It's showing up above and I will also put it in the description down below. So you can go ahead and watch that video. Right now, let's just move on to the folding method. All right, guys. So I'm taking a pair of jeans to demonstrate to you the folding technique, the KonMari folding technique that you're going to use for any pair of pants, be it jeans, be it PJs, leggings, capris, yoga pants, anything and everything except for shorts. There's a slight variation on that. So this is a very wrinkled pair of jeans, but doesn't matter. As you can see, the front is facing me. The back side is on the bed. What are you going to do? The first step is to fold it in half lengthwise. So one leg on top of the other. Try to smoothen out as many wrinkles as possible after that. Now the basic fundamental step of the KonMari folding technique is that the piece of clothing needs to be in a rectangle which has, a, which has the same width throughout. Now with pants you can see the problem arises is with the seat area and the crotch. This tends to stick out. What are we going to do about that? A very simple solution fold this in. Now as you can see we have a rectangle. All you have to do now is simply take this side, fold it to the top. Again very important leave a bit of space. Okay so we're going to leave a bit of space try smoothen it out again after that turn it around divide it into one third one third so basically three parts. Now taking the top, fold it inward once and then fold it over again. That's it. We have a neat little parcel. Put it down on the bed. Voila. Doesn't fall over. And that is how you perfectly fold a pair of pads. You can hold it up. You see, it is super easy to hold, super easy to take around anywhere in the room and store it wherever you want to. Personally, file it in the drawer is the best way. Just pick it up and go and you're good to go. So this was a pair of jeans and now we're going to move on to shorts. 
all right so for shorts i am going to use my kids short ruhels okay now same thing the front side will be facing the top the back side will be on the bed the floor wherever you are folding first step fold it in half lengthwise so one leg on top of the other now same thing the seat area fold it inwards so you have a rectangle as you can tell now here what are we going to do is that you can see because it is considerably shorter in in length we will not flip this over like that if we were to do so we can i mean nobody's stopping you what's going to happen is you're going to have a very small package you can do it if you don't have a lot of depth in or or height in your drawer you can make it this way so it's really tiny or what you can do is fold it one third and then fold it again one third you're going to take the crotch side crotch take the crotch up to the top like this now you're going to fold this side any side right or left whichever one you choose fold it over to the center so you see it's overlapping you're making a line here you're going to fold it over here now you're going to do the exact same thing from this side and you have a cute little parcel which can also stand up by itself Ta-da! Right, now that you know how to perfectly fold how do you store them and how do you organize them so i use these zipper storage bags and as you can tell i'm quite the labeling freak but yes and i will unzip one to show you sorry for the sound of the zip there you go and as you can tell perfectly filed folded and stored the same way i've done for emmets so again a bit of labeling freak as you can tell the, these are uh, Ahmed's jeans well not all of them but some of them as you can tell he's taken a few out but the key point here is that even after him taking out a few the remaining are standing perfectly straight they're not falling over they are so easy to just pick up like for example I want to pick this one out there you go can you see they just don't fall over. I love it. For smaller piece of clothing, like the underpants that I showed you, the underwear, well, you can get drawer inserts like this. You can use shoe boxes. You can um, use baskets. Whatever rocks your boat, just go ahead and do that. But it really makes for easy storage. As you can see, they're perfectly done. I've color coordinated them, obviously, because I'm quite crazy but it's really simple and this method truly works so go ahead and try it and let me know what you think um, don't forget to comment don't forget to like if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe hit the bell icon so that you're notified of every video uh, comment i would totally appreciate your feedback and uh, also you can follow me on instagram my handle is given below and yeah we are going to be switching it up for the next video we're going to be talking about cleaning 101, the first step to do before you can get any cleaning done. So do join me uh, in my next video. Until then, lots of love. But before I go, the space saving tip that I had promised you earlier. All you need are hangers yes but specific type of hanger you can go in for multiple hangers like this so you can store many different pants in just one area you can go in for clip-on hangers which are made specifically for pants um, you can also go in for one arm hangers which don't have this side so you can just slip on and slip off your pant and i love those you have collapsible hangers as well which are multiple you can hang them up or you can hang them up vertically brilliant stuff and they're super cheap i got these from Daraz. 
uh, there are Rock PK. I'm sure they're available everywhere else. You have um, lots of online shopping places. I know they're available at Amazon. They're available on AliExpress and they're not expensive. So invest in space saving things like this. I will keep showing you things that you can definitely invest in which are going to be quite a blessing in your life. Until next time, lots of love, like, share, subscribe.